One of the challenges that gardeners face, especially in the spring and the fall, as we're putting out new transplants and planting seedlings, are pill bugs and sow bugs. Now these are actually not insects because they have seven pairs of legs, so 14 legs unlike an insect with six. They're actually a member of the crustacean family like lobsters and crayfish. They like damp areas, dark areas, and they typically feed on decaying organic material. So they're not a bad thing to have in our gardens and our landscapes because they help with the breakdown of organic material but they do like an occasional feeding of young succulent plants and seedlings. So we do have to take some care when we're putting out new plants. Sometimes when I'm putting out things like lettuce that I know is going to be attractive to pill bugs, I start out a little bit in advance of planting my lettuce by reducing the number of pill bugs. And I'll do that with beer traps, just a simple coffee can, uh, cat food can or pie pan, something like that with just a little bit of beer in it sunk to the level of the soil will attract them and then they f fall in, drown and die and you can take care of them and get them out of the garden. Avoid having boards and uh, logs and, and other trash and debris in your yard because they'll tend to collect under those, those areas. But you can actually make traps like that. Uh, you can put uh, clay saucers in the ground with a little bit of potato or apple, attract them and put that under a board and then that will attract a lot of them and you can kill them and get the numbers down in your garden. But again, once your plants get established, they're not going to be as tasty to the pill bugs. So it's really just an early planting uh, pest that you'll have to deal with. Now there are some things that you can use around the house that, that might be of help for you. Sometimes coffee grounds will help to repel them around seedlings. One of the secrets too is not to mulch plants too early because having a thick layer of mulch around the plants will give them a hiding place and so it's best to let your plants get up and get established a little better and then pull the mulch up around them as the stems start to toughen off. You'll also benefit from watering more in the morning and not having the foliage really wet in the evening because that makes conditions uh, really nice for snails, slugs, and pill bugs and can add to the number of problems that you have around your plants. Another thing that you can do is sprinkle diatomaceous earth around the plants, but I don't find that that has a long lasting effect. Even red pepper, hot red pepper, like cayenne pepper sprinkled around seedlings can also help you with uh, deterring the pill bugs. There are some commercial products available that are very uh, helpful and very effective. And one thing you can do is spray with orange oil, just a diluted orange oil sprayed on the surface of the soil, and also to spray under those traps that you might put out on the garden will help reduce the numbers very quickly. The, um, the other product that you can use is the bioorganic spray. Some of these uh, sprays that use essential oils work very effectively on the pill bugs and sow bugs. And then another product that is really wonderful is Sluggo Plus. Now you may have heard of Sluggo being used for snails and slugs. This, this has the iron phosphate of Sluggo, but it also has the plus, which is spinosad, and that works very effectively on millipedes and pill bugs, sow bugs, all kinds of things. And the difference between a pill bug and a sow bug is the sow bugs tend to be a little bit flatter and they don't roll up into a ball like the pill bugs. So uh, the Sluggo Plus breaks down into a fertilizer. It is a bit expensive, but you do get the benefit of having that insecticide control plus a little bit of fertilizer added to it. And you just sprinkle that lightly into the soil and it will give you a long lasting effect and get those numbers down. So wetter years, we're gonna have more problems with pill bugs. So be prepared for dealing with them when we're going to have uh, wet soil.